Hello and welcome to the 2015 IMF and World Bank annual meetings. I'm joined today by Dr. R. C. Taraman, the Chief Executive of Doha Bank. Dr. Taraman, thank you for coming along today. The pleasure is mine. Thank you. Now, in the first few days of the meetings, we've heard uh, a number of panelists discuss this idea of, uh, of the triad of uh, global risks to, to the economy. Um, how do you think that the mood is at the conferences this year? Well, we're in a defining moment compared to last year where we proclaimed that, you know, you had the cautious optimism was there, Sustain global sustainability was very much measured pace. Now the reality is different. Uh, if phase one was Lehman Brothers and Bass turns and phase two was quantitative easing, everyone was pumping liquidity, liquidity crisis moved into funding crisis, funding crisis moved into the solvency sovereign. Today, if we are going to stop quantitative easing, what will be the reflection? We have seen already the currency markets are tumbling, commodity markets are downward, again, stock markets world over, capital markets are facing nosedive. So financial markets are uh, having downward risk. Property, again, the same story. The mood is really, really, uh, you know, downward. And everyone is trying to see, is, is there a real recovery in, in global terms? Frankly, this is phase three of the financial crisis. And nothing has changed but for liquidity. So we need to look at the, the policy measures, alignment of uh, accommodative monetary policy and fiscal policy in global terms and making sure structural reorganizations take place in advanced economies as, as well as uh, developing economies. The G20 has taken this, these decisions. They need to be executed. Many of them have not been complied in true spirit and values. And that is the issue we have. And what does this broader environment mean for the states and the GCC, given the downturn of commodity prices and given some of the, the major uh, deficits we're seeing in their budgets this year and, and beyond? It is in the crossroads. Uh, these are very unusual situations. Gone are the days where oil prices were $100, current account surplus, fiscal surplus, diversification structured solutions in multiple market sovereign funds, multiple sectors. Now, the reality is uh, current account surplus is possible in certain countries not in all the states where we have 45% of the world oil, 20-25% of the world gas comes from. So we have a real risk of you know, uh, rationalization and we have to necessarily align the monetary policy and expansionary fiscal policy which was originally spelled out. So it means cut expenditure is equally important. Current account deficit is cropping up in certain uh, pockets whether Saudi Arabia or other states. And again, you have to make sure your fiscal deficit, how you're going to manage it. So it's, it's, a, it's a very delicate situation. Liquidity is at stake. Lesser liquidity is going to have definite impact in the local markets. And regional reflection, we are already seeing there. Property markets are standstill. And again, it remains to be seen uh, how the cost of fund is moving or what sort of uh, you know, reorganization takes place in terms of overall financial stability remains to be seen. Okay, and just a final word now on, on Doha Bank's uh, sort of global expansion. This year we saw the bank go live in India. Uh, what role do you see yourselves playing, I guess, in, between, in terms of bridging uh, the economic divide between India and the GCC? India is the front runner in terms of overall IMF projection. You could see it. Again, uh, the market liberalization has enabled India as, as a stronger economy. The bilateral trade is over $135 billion. There are 700 million Indians in the Gulf states, uh, whether it is trade or investment, banking or finance, we could play as a professional intermediary. We have branches in Qatar, 55 branches, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Kuwait, with conspicuous operations in India, uh, three, more, three additional branches. We can play an important role to promote the bilateral trade between these two blocks. And again, bilateral investment is a necessity and uh, a lot of opportunities are there uh, for investment partnership, which we, we can play a role. And again, when it comes to remittances or, uh, or banking, uh, small and medium-sized entrepreneurs or big corporates, we can provide the uh, bridging uh, loans and supports to see the bilateral opportunities are truly recognized through professional intermediaries like Doha Bank. Fantastic. Thank you very much for your time today. My pleasure. Thank you.